Hi everyone, it's Carol. This afternoon I'm going to do a funnel pour. Instead of using the traditional funnel, I'm going to use my craft dressing bottle with a hole in the bottom. Close it up um, because it's going to hold more paint than my funnel. So I need a little more paint for this one. So <clears throat> I'm going to use white, red, green, and yellow. I'm just going to put my finger, oh, actually, you know what, uh, I think I'll hold my finger on it. I just hope I have it tight enough. Anyways, this is my white Artist Loft, or no, it's not Artist Loft, it's uh, Liquitex Basics. So I'm starting with white. Then I'm going to do some red. Do some yellow, that's okay. It'll get covered up. I'm gonna put some white in between some of these colors. So I want lots of white. And some green. This is a um, artist loft metallic leaf green. This is an artist loft flow acrylic bright red. It's a really nice red. And then the same with the yellow as the Artist Loft. This is the flow right there. This one says uh, bright red. Okay, so I got my green. I'll put my yellow. I think I'll, every two colors I'm going to put some white. Now I only put one drop of silicone in the uh, red. I'm not exactly sure how much to put in here, but I'm just going to guess. This is almost like a sandwich pour, but I would call it like a triple decker because there's lots of white in between all the layers. Um, some red. This is all the yellow now. I'm going to dump it all in. Should be enough. There's probably about seven, seven ounces. If I use all the red there is. I'll put some more white here. some more yellow in my bottle. I might just squirt a bit of that in. Okay. I just mix my paints one to one with Floetrol. tight here. Try and layer this all around. All right. 
just going to spread this. I'm going to try and let this out slow and I want... white down the sides. All right. This is what I was hoping for. Lot of paint on here. I wonder if I should torch. And then I'm going to have quite a mess going here. top the bottom whoa Let's if I can get it to come this way Trying to keep my lines fairly straight. So I like that. Oh, a lot of paint. I want this piece to go off here. I think I like this. Cool. Look at those giant cells. This will probably keep reacting a little bit. Get this paint off my gloves. Oh, such a lot of paint. It's a little bit too much, I guess. All right, so let's see what happens. I don't think I want to do any more. I don't really think that's quite enough cells. 
I like it. I really like it. <clears throat> I wish I had another line going down there, but it is what it is. If I had more paint, I could drizzle, but nah, let's leave it. There's a lot of color under there. I can see all the cells popping. I think I'm just going to let it go. I think more will pop out. <clears throat> all right. Let's see if I can hold this up for you. Cool. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, like, comment below, and hit the bell for notifications. Once you subscribe, if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification when I do another video. I usually do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday a lot of times. Okay. And if I have lots of videos, I might do another one on Thursday. So, keeps me busy, but I love it. Check my comments below, or my uh, description, and there's information in there. My uh, websites and other stuff. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll put the dried results at the end. Thank you. Bye. Okay, here I am looking at my dried painting. So cool. Dried really good, nice and smooth. Look at those cool cells. It was lots of white in there. I love the stripes. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.